Question 6 is to simplify complex algebraic fractions. Here also, please click on this link or scan this QR code and go to the video and watch it thoroughly. All the exam questions for this topic is explained in that video. After that, I will solve a couple of problems over here by the calculator method. Before we start this topic, a quick reminder, please go to question number five and be thorough with the calculator method over there because the same method is employed even over here. Now we have over here the expression with only single variable. So type it out as it is with A as the variable X in your calculator. I have typed this as it is. Instead of A, I have put alpha X. Now calculate this at any specific value. I will take 1.5 itself and we got negative 3 by 7. So it's negative 0 0.48, but let's keep it as fraction. Now look into the options. You will have four options. Look into all the four options and try to substitute the same A value, X value, which we considered, that is 1.5 over here and solve it up. Now what I will do is, since it's single variable, I'll just type this out as well. I've typed this as it is and now calculated at 1.5, I'm getting negative 3 by 7. It must be the same answer. But in the second question here, we have two different variables. It doesn't matter how many variables you have. As long as you assume a specific value for each variable, you can solve it up easily. Now I will assume B to be 2 and D to be 3. I have substituted this equation assuming b to be 2 and d to be 3 and now the answer i'm getting is 4 by 9. please write this answer down somewhere and now try all the four options all you have to do is put all the four options with the assumed value for b as 2 and d as 3 and the answer must be matching the given question that was 4 by 9 even this is 4 by 9. so that's how we get the correct answers Please try this out all by yourselves. Over here, it's all single variables, so it'll be easier. And since the options will be given, you can easily figure out the answers. So that's how we solve these problems. If you have any doubts, please post them in the comments and try to practice more problems so you will get a hang of it. And if you want this presentation, you can please click on the description below and download this presentation.